video standing up. It's been a hot minute. This feels like so natural. I used to do this all the time. This is my thought process that I've written out on a piece of paper so I don't go off topic this video because I have things to say and I know that I'll just start <laughs> What's up you guys, it's Katie. What are we doing with our lives? That's the question I have tonight. What are we doing? <laughs> to be honest, pretty much anybody else who's kind of in my situation in life, you know, we're young adults kind of going into the 20s or we're in our early 20s and we really don't know what we're doing yet career-wise, it's scary. We have no clue where we're going. And at this point, usually getting a degree is good, but it doesn't really mean that much. Like everybody has a degree. So like usually you need to do post-grad if you want to like actually get a job in your field and stuff. And I honestly feel like I had this conversation way too many times. Oh, you're in university. Okay, what year are you in? Well, I was homeschooled and I graduated high school and I was like 16 but I did like online university while working full-time before transferring to a real school when I was 18 But then like I didn't have all my first year courses done So like I did like part first year second year and then third year all at the same time and I I, I don't know what year I'm in So do you have a job? Yeah, I work online actually. I make YouTube videos. Oh, what are your videos on? That's a good question I don't even know <laughs> Well, sometimes people will accept that YouTube is a legitimate job But I always get nervous talking about it because there are a lot of people out there who just think that I'm joking when I say that I work on YouTube They don't respect me for it, which is fine. Like I get it. It's a joke that like people on YouTube, this is our job. I get it, you can laugh. I mean, it basically is a hobby. It just somehow turned into work as well, but like good work and I love what I do here and I feel like really lucky that I get to do this. Either way, I usually just get like really freaked out that people are gonna think that I'm like not intelligent or smart or talented at all because I don't even know what's going on in my university or like my job or anything. So I just like, oh man, people judge me. But can anybody else relate? Can anybody else relate to that feeling of just like, not knowing what you're doing, but trying really hard to make it look like you know what you're doing. <laughs> Even this morning, I woke up and I knew that I really wanted to film the video today, but I didn't really know what I wanted to say or like the message I wanted to put out on the internet for the week. It's 8.30 now, and it's only now that I'm just, you know, finally have this epiphany of what I wanted to say. I spent most of the day just at my piano, figuring out some of the main theme of La La Land, because that's something that you can do. go online and just convince yourself that everybody around you has a perfect life and like does not have any problems but in reality we all struggle with things and it's okay to know that you're not alone in this crazy thing we call life wait what did I even just say you're not alone in this crazy thing called life that sounds like it should be on like a meme over an ocean pretending to be like super deep and motivating. So yes, I have my moments where I sit there and I'm like, man, I'm going to be forever alone and no one will ever love me and I will never succeed in my career and I will never graduate school. But here's the thing, freaking out helps nothing. This is what I've learned. Time happens and keeps going on no matter what you do. If you just sit here and always worry about things and overanalyze everything, you're gonna get stuck in one period of time. But if you channel all your freakouts into motivation to actually get you to do something, life will get so much better. What I have started to do is just instead of worrying about like my entire life and these big things every single day, I just think, what am I gonna do today? Or what do I wanna have done by this day next week? And make it into more attainable goals for myself and that way, I don't waste time freaking out about things that I just shouldn't be freaking out about. I was thinking to myself recently that I wish I could just go five years in the future and see where I am just to make sure I'd be okay, but actually thinking about it, I don't want that at all because I feel like if you were to know where you were gonna end up, you would make decisions based on that and then you might miss a whole bunch of the learning opportunities and the mistakes that you made along the way that actually made you into the person that you would become. And that's what scares me. I'd rather go in blind and end up in the right place than know where I'm going and skip over a lot of lessons learned because the lessons learned make you the person that you are. So it doesn't matter that you don't know what you're doing with your life is the point of this video. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Somehow we manage in this crazy thing we call life. But I just really wanted to say this because I feel like a lot of us waste a lot of time freaking out, but it says in Matthew 6:34, do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. God's got this, you've got this, and you're gonna be okay. It's okay to fake it till you make it and just make it up as you go. I won't judge you if you don't judge me. So that's all I have to say tonight. If you don't already, you should follow me on my social media because I'm starting to do live Instagram videos, I think. I did one this weekend and it was so fun. So I'm gonna try to do more. So go follow me on there if you wanna be a part of that because it's super fun. And until the next time I see you guys, have a great life. Don't be stupid or make bad decisions. Bye. I have no idea if any of this video made sense.